To look up online classes in Self-Service Banner, first log into TU Portal. Once you have logged into TU Portal, click on the Student Tools tab. You can look up classes by accessing Self-Service Banner. To do this, click on the link that says Self-Service Banner under TU Applications on the left-hand side of your page. You can also access this page by clicking on the Look Up Classes under the Registration fields on the right-hand side of your page. Select the term you are looking for and then click the Submit button. On this page, click on Advanced Search. Select the subject you are searching for, and if you know the course number, enter it here. Then go to the Instructional Method field and select one or all three types of online courses. In order to select additional types of online courses, select the first Instructional Method. Then hold down the control key on your keyboard and then select each additional instructional method. Now click on Section Search. This page will show you all courses offered under the subject and instructional methods selected. Please note that the online courses are assigned to a campus for administrative purposes only. The location column typically shows TBA for to be announced or online classroom for online courses. Also notice that the sections for online courses are in the 700s. Although the course may be completely online, many Fox online courses have required virtual meetings when you must be online at a specific time each week. This information would be listed in the days and time columns. For example, M's are Mondays, T's are Tuesdays, W's are Wednesdays, R's are Thursdays, and F's are Fridays. More than one letter under the days column indicates that the class meets more than one time each week. For example, TR would be Tuesdays and Thursdays. Another way to determine the type of instructional method a class is, is by clicking on the CRN. This is a number in blue under the CRN column. In this section, you will see which type of online course it is. It will also be listed under the type column at the bottom of your screen. The capacity column indicates the maximum number of students that can enroll in the class. The actual column indicates the number of students currently registered for the class and the remaining column indicates the number of seats remaining in the class. Therefore, if the number in the actual column is less than the number in the capacity column, then the class is open, unless there is a waitlist which would be shown here. An open course will have a box in the select column. To register for an open course, check the box under the select column of the chosen course, then click register. Please refer to the how